Harrisburg police were very clear to make sure that we knew this was not a police chase, but rather as soon as the officers activated the lights on that police vehicle, the suspect car took off. And unfortunately for three innocent families, they are now affected and involved because their vehicles are severely damaged. I was in bed sleep. I thought it was raining. I thought it was thunder. And I come outside, somebody hit my mom's car and my car. What he thought was thunder was the sound of this black infinity hitting three parked cars on Broad Street in East Liberty. I just bought the car two months ago. Pittsburgh police say plainclothes detectives were a block away doing a drug investigation when they saw this car had a code violation. When the detectives activated their lights, the uh, car sped off at a high rate of speed. Not quite a block distance. Uh, from where the officers were. The two men in the suspect car hit this envoy, damaging the rear, then hit the sedan, pushing it into Rebecca Jeffrey's truck. I feel bad. I feel awful. Police say one of the suspects ran from the car. They were able to catch him quickly and get him into custody. The other suspect couldn't get out because his leg was injured. Next to him, police say they found a loaded weapon and heroin. Accidents these neighbors had no part of have happened too often, and Jeffries wishes this could be made a one-way street. Several cars of mine have gotten hit, plus other people on the street, the same thing. Has this been the worst that you've dealt with? Yes. Yes. Those two suspects were both taken to Presby in stable condition tonight. Police have not released their identities and say that they are going to consult with the DA for possible charges. Reporting live tonight outside of Pittsburgh Police Headquarters, I'm Kelly Brennan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.